I'm Rob Grimmond, I'm Secretary of the Somerset Ornithological Society and I'm speaking from Calmstock Beacon. We have birds like stone chat and tree pipit. Stone chat is a very distinctive bird that can be recognised by its call which sounds like two pebbles being knocked together. Tree pipit is a summer visitor and of course you have your more regular birds. Uh, we can hear them all around us now. We have wrens singing, we have warblers like blackcaps, chiff chaffs, willow warblers and uh, another very common bird is meadow pipit and because of these small woodland birds that are here then there's also a possibility of having a cuckoo which will lay its eggs in the nests of these particular species. If you keep your eyes open and look up you may see a kestrel or a buzzard or if you're very lucky even a possibly even a kite or a hobby. I think there's two challenges really where heathland's concerned. The first one is the habitat degradation if you realise that once upon a time this was all forest, um, heathland is pretty much a man-made habitat and uh, it will soon revert to woodland if you're not careful. So they have to be managed carefully. And the other threat, of course, is um, development. One bird that sadly I can't say as, it, as being here now is the Dartford warbler, which used to be in this area and there were a number of pairs that bred, but um, this is a bird that's very prone to severe winters. It's on the edge of its range in Britain. And um, the winter of 2008-2009 uh, pretty much killed them off in this area. It's always possible that one day, uh, if we have mild winters and the population expands again, then they may recolonise this area. I think we just have to be hopeful. If you're interested in learning more about birds, then I think the first thing is to get yourself a, a good bird book. You don't have to get a complicated field guide. There's lots available. There's some that are very simple and cover just the most common birds. And um, just come up here somewhere like this early in the morning in summer, perhaps May, and listen to the birds singing. You'll, you'll see them as well. And even if you just can't identify them all, you get wonderful bird song and bird calls. Um, even now, you know, we're still getting them calling around us. So, um, you know, just come along and immerse yourself in it. <laughs>